I put a brand new battery in the back. Uh, the other was stone dead and it wouldn't take charge very well. This is going to be the first start in a couple, well, many months. And the Studebaker typically does not enjoy uh, coming out of winter. I poured some gas down the carb already. It's probably not going to be a pretty start. And it'll probably kill the battery doing so, but uh, we're going to give her a go anyway. Should put an electric fuel pump in this thing, but I'm going to go pour a bit. No, no need to pour it. It's squirting out of there big time. Uh, Oil pressure. too much overlap between the uh, intake and exhaust valves so there's, it'll never idle smoothly. If I had to guess the gas is going to have a shit ton of water in it. I did put some stabilizer in it before uh, shutting it down but always been shit. Dad and I have worked on it, I don't know, a lot. I mean, before it was the um, combination linkage between the two carbs that was a real pain in the ass, but... Uh, what? Oh, nice! Sweet, I'll have to get them later. Kara tells me the snakes are out. There's always been like a real shitty spot in the, uh, oh, there's always been a shitty spot in the throttle linkage, uh, just above idle, like just as you're kind of getting into it, and then once you get past it, it's it's good and smooth, but it's, it's just a shitty setup, so I think I'm going to redo that. I'd love to redo it with a, uh, not with the cable linkage like it is now, but more with a hard bar. 
so that I have better control over it. Three inches of mercury. It almost goes down to zero. Which I can see because if the two valves are both open, you know, it's just it's leaking all of it out. It gets better with it. Anyway. See what it's like in gear. I'll probably stall, but. Well, around the same. Oh. That's enough abuse for right now, but uh, we will be back. It's idling so high right now, but carb setting is my guess. Wasn't doing that when we were in the driveway there earlier. Just gonna take it out for a quick spin. Is this a good idea? I don't know. My gut says it's okay, but I'm only going about two kilometers.
Well, we lived, so that's always a good thing. Um, it's driving about the same as it did last time I was out in it. It's not too bad. It's a little sketchy at slow speeds because of the whole uh, power brake situation. There's just not enough vacuum at low RPM to uh, operate the brakes. So when you're almost at a stop, the brakes lose most of their effectiveness or they go back to, you know, manual brakes or whatever you want to call it. Um, I do need to put a reservoir under there, a uh, vacuum, vacuum can or whatever that will uh, at least <coughs> hold back some residual um, pressure or vacuum to use for a couple of stops kind of thing. When you're moving, it's great. Um, the brakes do hard left. Um, I remember that at the drag strip, though. Like when you're, I remember having to hold it back quite. You know, when you when you get the brakes to get off the track. Uh, so I mean, that's that's just set up. There's something up there. I think that's been attempted to be repaired a couple times. But uh, generally, pretty good. I mean, drivable. You know. Uh, I wouldn't want to drive that across Canada or up island even. Um, it would need to be a little smoother, but it's a it's an experience, so that's the part of the thing. And we did get uh, along the straightaway there. We did get a couple of you know good runs and blow some cobwebs out and stuff like that. So um, that's this part for now. I'll go in and edit the videos that I made earlier with regards to the first start and all that and uh, if I can edit this down to something reasonable I'll cram this on the end or this will be a different uh, different video or whatever but uh, um, I should mention that um, a uh, viewer by the name of Stude 1953 um, curiously enough was uh, was one of the dudes who uh, asked to see more of the Studebaker so that encouraged me to um, um, do the first start and get the camera out again and all that sort of stuff so um, thanks Stude and uh, everybody else who sends um, requests or recommendations or whatever I will do some more things on this in particular as I'm doing work to it and um, but now that we're into spring I'll probably be starting it regularly and uh, do the oil change and do some maintenance to it um, I'd like to check out what the plugs look like um, three of the plugs are fucking impossible to get at but uh, there will be a way I bought a universal joint that can get into the back there but you just can't see it there's no you have to do it totally blind um, just the way the V8 in this you know it sits way back in and the, and the headers come straight out and it's just it's a terrible thing but um, yeah I hope you all enjoyed in particular uh, Stu1953 there and um, uh, we'll talk again thanks all bye